<laughs> good day. Yeah, my name is Timo Vuoransola, and um, I'm from Finland, as she told. Uh, first question, actually, is does anybody know any Finnish films? Anybody, please? Some hands, good. Uh, I'm going to show you, I'm, I'm going to tell you a little about uh, my film, which was called uh, Star Trek, which we released in 2005. And I'm going to start out with uh, showing the trailer because, because uh, it's a good time for you to start seeing Finnish trailers, at least. So <laughs> we'll see this one. And then I go and talk a little bit more. But uh, let's see how it goes. Can we get the lights down, please? Okay, very good. Close to good. Throughout history have great men sought world domination. Every one of them has failed. Until... Guys are in pain! Me teemme tästä maailmasta paremman paikan. Ehdottamanne toiminta on ensimmäisen direktiivin vastaista. Me varmistamme peliton syntyminen. Keinolla millä hyvänsä. Future technology brings the establishment to its knees and a new world order is instituted. Taktisesta puuttuu edelleen tuoli. Tehotaso 96,3 prosenttia. Täyski jarautuminen! Nyt! A bold expedition lies ahead. Otaksun, että olemme tulleet jonkinlaiseen oman maailmamme peiliulottuvuuteen. Täällä kapteeni Sheripai, Babel 13. Täällä keisari Pirk, peiliton ylijohtaja. The time for negotiations is over. The emperor wants it all. When the ancient prophecies come true, a great darkness will fall upon us all. Maan sotalain pykälä 42 perusteella tuomitsen teidät kuolemaan rikoksistanne ihmiskuntaa vastaan. It is time to arm the twinklers. Amikaluokan hävittäjät ovat saavuttaneet optimaalisen tulitusetäisyyden. Tulikaan tämä saavutettu! Onko se jotain sanottavaa ennen kuin me räivitään teidät palasiksi? Potkitaan nuo paskiaiset pois tästä galaksista. Tulta! Ja minä aion täyttää velvollisuuteni maata kohta. <laughs> The playground of space is too small for two. Taistelemme viimeiseen asti. Johnny, what about him? Get ready for a wrecking with a vengeance. Thank you. So that's a teaser for uh, Star Trek in the Brooklyn. It was uh, released in 2005 on the internet for free. Uh, Distributed is feature length film, 103 minutes long. And it was actually the first film that it was ever released on the internet. Uh, so we kind of claimed the throne. And uh, it turned into quite a successful idea. Um, Originally, we started working with this film in 1998, so it took seven years for us to make the film. And basically, the point was that we had no kind of an idea on how to make films. None of us had actually made any films. But our producer, um, the guy who was also main actor there, the actor, <laughs> whatever, and uh, he had this idea that he wanted to make the best film in the world. And... Uh, <laughs> And we said, yeah, let's go. And uh, he said, that, okay, we don't have money, but uh, you know, I want like, you know, 
Hollywood quality spe special effects, and I want this huge story where where people go from one di dimension to each other uh, to to other other, and uh, there's a huge space battle and everything. And we said, yeah, it's a good idea, uh, and uh, then we started working and. Um, as I told you, it took like seven years for, for us to make the film, and our producer had a ver very good uh, tactique on how he got us, you know, as a, as a small group, uh, to, you know, stick along for the, f for the seven years. And that was that he always told that it's going to be ready in four months. And uh, <laughs> after that, he told it's going to be ready in four, four months. And, you know, he kept on going this so far that we didn't want to, uh, you know, st <laughs> stop making it once we realized that he's actually lying to us. <laughs> so lying is a very good uh, idea of getting people um, to work for you for free. <laughs> um, I'll show you something about Star Trek. How many have actually have heard about Star Trek before this Okay, some of you have. So, um, I said, uh <coughs> it's a Finnish language film, but uh, uh, we have a pretty good uh, international audience. Actually, what happened with the film in 2005 when we released it, uh, oh sorry, somewhere. <laughs> So what happened with the film in uh, 2005 when we released it was that uh, uh, we actually didn't think that anybody would be very interested in this kind of film. I mean, eventually, it's uh, uh, in the end, it's a uh, Finnish language uh, amateur, very badly acted uh, parody of uh, you know nerd par parody made by a group of guys in producer's mom's basement. But uh, when we released it. Um, the whole budget of the film it was 15,000 euros and we got it mainly from like uh, student checks and uh, unemployment bills and that sort of stuff. So I would say that we had some state support there. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, resulted in 8 million downloads to date, which I would say is, is, is pretty good and it's doing very well. Uh, even now it's like three years old film. And uh, um, so we released it on uh, BitTorrent. The first first release was on BitTorrent, and then we started. What we started to do is we started to sell DVDs because a lot of people said that they want to buy it, and uh, and then Universal Pictures came along and uh, they wanted to do a distribution deal with us, and we did a kind of a, I don't know how many like maybe ten five five to ten territories distribution deal with a couple of distributors, and eventually we got uh, with the free distribution. Uh, our money back, uh, I would say, 20 times of that. So it became also kind of a commercially successful film. Also, we sold a lot of uh, extra stuff like uh, T-shirts and caps and whatever, uh, merchandise. So uh, those kind of things, they all provided us with the fact that we were able to release this for free and uh, still get a, a reasonable distribution deal and sell a lot of DVDs and, uh, you know, start making the next film. And, uh, well, you can see it on starrek.com, download it there, or on it's actually also on YouTube now, the full ver version, so you can check it there. Um, what made it possible for us in the beginning was, to, as, as I told you, we, we didn't know how to make films, but what we did have, we did have sort of a little community on the internet in 1998. Uh, because we were, we had released these kind of uh, stupid animations before that on the internet, and uh, nobody actually did it those days. So we kind of had this kind of an initiative there. People were kind of looking forward into what we were doing. So what we did was that we started to collaborate with our audience to make this film because we we said that okay, we don't know how to you know make spaceships or we don't know how to get actors or how to make a script or or we didn't actually have a have a name name for the film or anything. So we turned over to the com uh, to our community and started asking people to help us. And uh, everybody kind of, uh, you know, chipped in little this and that. Somebody gave an idea for the name. Somebody gave little ideas for the script. Somebody had some sort of a, uh, idea on how to how to get uh, how, how to model this ship and what kind of a ship uh, would that be and eventually we get got like uh, most of the stuff stuff that we needed you know actors and script and all the spaceships and everything from the internet community uh, to us so that we were able to make this film and uh, make it with the budget of actually well with, without a budget and uh, 
All right, yeah, now we're working on the next film, which I'm going to tell you a little bit more about. But our main idea was that what we wanted to do is to get this idea of collaborative film production and bring it along with us to the next film. And actually, then we started to think about it a little bit further. Uh, wouldn't it be possible to make it so that actually anybody could make a film like collaboratively with the people over the internet, whether you... Uh, 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 no matter if you have the resources to do it or not, you could get get the, uh, people people to work for you and uh, help you with the film. Uh, so we uh, started to build what is nowadays called Rec Movie. It's a, a collaborative film production platform which uh, works in a very simple manner. The idea is that I, as a filmmaker, uh, have an audience uh, or, or, or a community in this uh, platform. And uh, what I do is I ask people, to, uh, I, I have certain tasks for people. For example, uh, here uh, I have a task of the future of 2018 and I have a little description and I ask people to submit their ideas or their concepts or it can be like anything, for example, their 3D models or their artwork or, or anything for, for me, the filmmaker and uh, the community then can they, they can get that and uh, build upon it and, you know, iteratively create something that I will be able to use in my film in the future. So Rec Movie is also uh, open for other productions. We have around, uh, well, we just opened a few weeks ago, so we have around 30 productions, a couple of thousand users. And uh, the idea is that uh, you can come over there, set, it, set your film there and uh, start collaborating with your community and uh, hopefully get better results with it. Eventually it's sort of a marketplace where people and films and hopefully in the end also money come together and uh, make it possible to make uh, a little bit different kind of films. Okay, let's uh, talk about more Nazis next. So um, my next film is um, Iron Sky. Uh, it's a science fiction comedy also uh, from Finland, but it's uh, actually a Finnish German, uh, Finnish and German co-production, which tells a story that in 1945 the Nazis went to the moon, and in 2018 they are coming back. <laughs> and uh, I'll show a little video for you over here, get some sort of an idea. Can we get the lights down again, please? Thank you.
So um, we started to work with Iron Sky right after Star Trek in 2006, and uh, the first thing that we wanted to do was instead of working in our kind of chambers and working with the film as long as we have something to show to the people, uh, what we wanted to do is, is involve the people from the very beginning to the production. There's actually two reasons for that. First one is obviously uh, the idea that we needed a lot of their resources, which we were not able to reach, and we needed their kind of ideas and their, their s s submissions for the film and their, their uh, thoughts. Uh, so that was the one reason, but also the other reason is that when you involve a uh, community to a film from the very beginning, as everybody has been telling here, is that it's going to take a long time to create actually a really working community and a uh, really strong community that will follow you to the end of the production. You need to start it very early, and we started it out very early by asking people to join the production and help us out with that production. So in the end, eventually when the film comes out or, or, or trailer, trailer comes out or anything, we already have a huge community that will keep on telling to their friends and to their friends' friends that, that this is a film that they have been involved in and uh, spreading the word. Uh, Iron Sky Teasers has been, uh, was online a couple of uh, weeks and got around one million uh, viewings on the internet in different platforms. So I would say that we also succeeded in that and uh, that was uh, kind of an important thing for us. Um, let's see. What we do with Iron Sky, there is, um, with the Iron Sky, um, oh shit, it starts. Uh, so what we do with uh, Iron Sky is that uh, we work on the film and we create the uh, community through obviously using a lot of these tools, all of you know, uh, one way or another. But as a kind of a secret source to us, we have this record movie pl platform where uh, Iron Sky is kind of the pilot project. And uh, we believe that eventually kind of involving the community, that's actually the best way to create a community because in the end the community requires some sort of a two uh, sided, uh, uh, you know, some sort of two-sided communication. So you give something, they give something, you give something, and uh, that's the way you create a real community that will not leave you once uh, you fail or just fumble or just uh, release the film or anything. Uh, we also release a uh, <laughs> talk show on YouTube, and uh, what's uh, on the on the community funding idea? We had this. Uh, thought of, uh, maybe you know, uh, in 1940s and actually 1950s, the United States sold these uh, war bonds uh, to the people. So we thought about, uh, you know, getting busy. There's a lot of people on the internet who wanted to support us some way, but they didn't want to, you know, join the production or didn't know what to do with it or didn't have the time. But they had some money, you know, a little bit of money. So uh, we issued these uh, war bonds to join the fight against the moon Nazis. And uh, they cost 50 euros, and you get basically nothing with that, but just, you know, the certificate where you say that you uh, you have supported this film. And uh, they've been sell selling pretty well. So we have a limited edition of 2000, and uh, hopefully we're going to be out of that somewhere during next year. So that's also kind of an important part of the, well, I would say important, but it's a very interesting part of the, uh, of the funding of the film. And... Uh, you know, in addition to that, uh, also well, making game and about you know merchandise, you, you know Nazi UFO frisbees, whatever uh, you get, those all of that stuff is important, and the community can. That's that's the way kind of to uh, get the community uh, support you during the production, and uh, and uh, if you have a good long time to work with your community, like we have been working two years now. And uh, we're going to be working at least two years from now on because Iron Sky is going to be released in 2010. Uh, it's important so that people can, uh, they can uh, f support you during the whole production. Here's some concept art just for your eyes only. That's uh, living quarters in, in the Nazi moon base. And uh, here's some Nazi UFOs attacking the Earth. And... Uh, that sort of stuff. So anyway, um, that was uh, my case study on uh, on this idea of collaboratively working with your community to create films and uh, 
I will be talking, I think uh, there is a kind of a panel discussion so we, we can ask a little bit more about these subjects, but uh, if there's something, I think I have like time for one or two questions, something like that. I'm sorry? Actually, uh, I've been following uh, how the <laughs> how the kind of Nazi communities on the <laughs> internet react to this film because I'm kind of <laughs> sick, uh, sickly interested in that, and uh, uh, they always uh, they're like, yeah, it's it's cool, but then when they find out that it's going to be a comedy, then they you know get angry and uh, they don't want to support this. I don't know why. <laughs> Anything else, maybe? Hi, Timo. Yeah. Um, a question. Interesting to make a film with a forum online, but how do you divide up their involvement regarding profit you turn on the release? Well, we take the profit and, you know, <laughs> that's, that's how it goes. Uh, that's how we... S <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way how it works for us. I mean, uh, first thing we say to our community is that if you want to help us, you do it just, just for fun. And, uh, I mean, we say that instead of playing two hours of World of Warcraft, you can also do two hours of a film about moon Nazis. But, I mean, it's up to you if you, if you like it, but all the money that comes, uh, we're going to keep. <laughs> so it's not a particularly sustainable model for everyone, then? I'm sorry? It's not a particularly sustainable model for everyone, then? Uh, well, it depends, obviously. And uh, eventually, with, uh, with the platform, uh, we are uh, also building instruments that would help to share the profit and that sort of stuff. But it's a bit tricky, so... Yeah, it is. That's why I asked you about it. Well, it's, uh, it is depending a little bit on the production, which uh, where you want to help or not. Okay, so you can't necessarily offer us a solution to how we can make this sustainable within a creative community. The fact that you've got a fan base who will offer you suggestions, you'll take that into a profit-making model by making the product. But how does that continue with your platform? I mean, if I want to sign on with a project, am I expecting that a little Brazilian kid is going to offer me the title and then I'm going to exploit that for a financial return and understanding that they can have a T-shirt and a cap? Aren't we just then be in the big studios? <laughs> yeah, indeed. <laughs> That's how it goes. Sorry. Uh, um, yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. More <laughs> questions, maybe. Thanks. I'm very impressed, and I think probably everyone is by the actual production quality that you've managed to achieve. Um, I'm very curious as to how you managed to achieve that with just a core team of five people, and obviously not big paychecks um, to pay your way and and live on in the meantime. So how we were able to do it with that quality? Well, we had a lot of good. Uh, we we had a lot of time, and uh, we had a community that helped us to do it. So I would say that those are the main reasons. I, was that your question? I'm sorry. I, I suppose my question is, you've talked about the community coming up with ideas and suggestions on how you might model it, but somebody's actually sat down and done all of that modeling work. Yeah. And, um, you know, is that just five guys who had no um, experience beforehand who've done I that? I would say, uh, well, I'm exaggerating if I said no experience. Obviously, we had a, a guy in our crew who had been done doing animations and that sort of stuff. So we had a basic kind of a little experience, but no idea on how to make a feature length film or actually how to, actu you know, any idea on <laughs> nar uh, film nar narratives and that sort of stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, basically it was so that, uh, that we had a community of about 3,000 people who more or less helped, not everyone helped big time, but there were some very important members who dipped in some very important stuff in the end. And the five of you just gave up seven years of your life and gave up your day jobs? Yeah. Very impressive. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, I think uh, that's, that's about it. Uh, I'll be around. So if you have some questions, and uh, drop an email. But thanks for everybody. And uh, yeah.